This question exclusively requires a construction based attack. Because when you scan through the answer choices, you don't get a specific point of attack as such. So, in questions like these, the only things that can be done is check for a logical based attack or a construction based attack. So, let's look at how this sentence is constructed. Now, after the main clause here, we have a comma and a convinced. So this becomes a past participle modifier. Now convince that something is happening. Now when you say convince that, this that signals the start of a that clause. Now how do we write that clauses? For example, he said that he was hungry. So we can see that in this that clause we have a subject and a verb. This is what is called a that clause. So after the that you have a proper clause construction. In the same way if we see the construction of this sentence we have they are convinced that limiting their something. So this limiting becomes an ing form of the verb used as a noun. So this is a gerund. And this is acting as the subject of this that clause. Now if there is a subject obviously it needs a verb. Now we can see that we have a very lengthy subject here limiting their investments followed by a comma. And then we have a dependent clause even though it is something. But we can see that this dependent clause is constructed within commas and we can kind of read around this to see the actual picture. This is one way in which you can actually get pretty efficient to deal with construction based attacks. To see proper clauses we can try to read around constructs between commas. So we can see that limiting their investments restricted their gains. So here restricted is the main verb. And so the that clause is limiting their investments restricted their gains. So A's construction looks perfectly fine. Let's hold on to that. Now in B we have a which followed by a comma. And a comma precedes the which as well. So if we look at this construction we have limiting which is the subject followed by a which which is the relative clause followed by while so we can see that these commas are bringing about a very complex construction. So let's see where the comma closes. So while it is something 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 and the comma closes after this which means this verb restricted is actually the verb in the relative clause which restricted something. So if I say this is the verb in the relative clause we can see that this noun does not have a main verb at all and this makes an incomplete construction B goes off. Now let's look at C. C says despite that that market. Now reading this itself might sound awkward. This is invalid construction because it should have been despite the fact that that market. So we need despite the fact that. So simply saying despite that is going to be invalid. So C goes off by that. Now if you notice in D we have a very similar construction to that of B. It starts with which which once again initiates the relative clause and we have this clause starting with though but this is between commas. So if you read around this the which restricted becomes a relative clause. So once again you have a condition in which the gerund limiting does not have a main verb so D goes off. And now in E again if you check the construction we have limiting the gerund followed by the comma and then we have this conjunction although and then we have this phrase which is actually within commas. So if we read around this we have the subject limiting Although restricted their gains, so we can see that this restricted their gains is connected to although. And again, in this case, we can notice that the gerund limiting does not have a main verb. So, because of that incomplete construction, E also goes off. 
This leaves you with the right answer choice, A for alpha.